Hello besties, welcome back to the channel. It's me Gigi and it's time to review a horror movie. So before we get into it though, I just want to address that yes, I'm, I have a different background because of course I'm not at home. Um, I mentioned in a video that I was going to Las Vegas for my granddaughter's birthday, which of course has been canceled. I mean, not her birthday, she still had a birthday, but her party was canceled. We've not gotten together, everyone is sequestered. And I'm going to be in Nevada for the foreseeable future, at least the next three weeks, maybe three and a half weeks. <sighs> so we will chat about that in another video. I'll, I'll do a little sit down chit chat tomorrow. Um, but let's go ahead and chat about a horror movie in my granddaughter's bedroom. This is her mouse. Um, and she is a, a preteen, so it's a little juvenile in here, but it's quiet and it's got bright light, so it's a perfect place for me to make this video. So the movie that we watched is called Visions, and it is on Netflix. This is not sponsored. Netflix does not know me. Uh, the movie stars... Uh, Isla Fisher, Isla Fisher, Isla Fisher, I-S-L-A Fisher, Jim Parsons, Anson Mount, Jillian Jacobs, Joanna Cassidy, who I adore in everything, Eva Longoria, and a bunch of other people, um, including Q from Star Trek The Next Generation, John Del Delancey. So Visions was actually a pretty good movie. Um... I did watch a, a, a different movie yesterday as well that I'm not going to review for the channel. It was horrible. And that's all I'm going to say about it. The name of that movie was Sabrina. Um, I don't recommend it on any level. And I'm not going to spend any more time other than saying we watched it. But Visions was good. Visions was a movie about a woman who has a car accident. And uh, the it was a two-car accident. So... The people in the other accident lost their baby. And so she tries to get in contact with these people to, you know, try to express her sorrow over the loss. Everyone keeps telling her that the accident was not her fault and that she needs to move on and put it behind her. But she keeps seeing visions. She keeps seeing flashes. And... So she goes to see a doctor, she gets some medication, but ends up becoming pregnant herself and goes off the medication right around the same time that they're moving into um, a vineyard. They're buying a vineyard, they're going to live there and grow grapes. And so as soon as she gets there, weird things starts happening. And at first you think there's a ghost there, but it's not really, it is and it isn't. I actually do not want to give away this movie. It is so good. Just on the off chance. I don't want to say it's so good. But the twist is interesting. And I don't want to give it away in this video. On the off chance that you are coming to watch this. To decide whether or not to watch Visions. If you are deciding whether or not to watch it. I say go for it. It is not going to ever be on the top 10 list of my favorite horror movies? No. It's probably not even going to top the top 100. No. It's a nice afternoon, though. It's a nice afternoon or, or late evening movie, you know, with a, a, a something to drink or enjoy in other ways. And just, you know, some popcorn and some good fun. Because it's not... It's not so scary that, that I watched it with my 11-year-old granddaughter. So it's not so scary that a kid couldn't enjoy it, but it's not boring. So uh, uh, an adult wouldn't enjoy it. it it's, it's, a good, it's a good, enjoyable flick. Um, <clears throat> all throughout the movie, everyone around uh, Sadie... No, not Sadie. I'm sorry. Everyone around uh, Evie... Evie... Um, keeps just assuring her that this is just trauma from the accident. You're still upset. You need to just keep taking the medicine even though you're pregnant. And her doctor, Jim Parsons, keeps telling her, you're fine, this has low side effects, it's not going to hurt your baby. I would not go on any depressants if I were pregnant. I wouldn't care what it was, okay? But um, she goes on it for a while and it seems like everything settles down. She has this other friend who's pregnant who's like, you can't do this to your baby. You have to do what's best for your baby. 
And the whole time she's talking to this woman, you have a, a weird feeling about her. <sighs> so, I, I, like I said, I really don't want to give this movie away in this... I want to try to make this a spoiler-free review. We don't normally do that. But I just really feel like if somebody stumbles across this video and decides to go watch Visions, I don't want to ruin the couple of little twists and turns that there are. And there are, are little hints throughout the whole movie that are telling you it's not what you think it is. We're, sh we're presenting this to you as a classic horror, or rather supernatural ghost thriller, and that's not... There's something else underneath. There's something else going on. And that something else is a little interesting. I would have enjoyed... I would have enjoyed a little more suspense. A little more... Chilling scares. You know? Uh, some extra revelations maybe. That everything didn't just come to light in the last 10 minutes of the movie. So, um... In that, I felt like it was a little weak in the plotting, in the way that they put the movie together. But all in all, it's pretty enjoyable. So that's what I'm going to say. I, I enjoyed it. My granddaughter actually gives this movie a four on the one out of five scale. I'm going to step back a little from that score and say I give it a three. I thought about just going 2.5 to put it smack in the middle. It's fine. But you know what? Everybody worked their butts off, and there were some really talented people in here, and you could see that they really edited things together very nicely. Everything was done well. It's serviceable. I'm going to give it a three. Okay, guys, if you've seen Vision, Visions, Visions, let me know in the comment section below what you thought of the movie. If you've not seen it and you're going to go watch it based on this video, let me know in the comment section below. And once you do go watch it, definitely come back and give me your review of the movie as well. Because I want to know what you guys think. It's It makes these much more fun to do. Okay, guys, we will see you in the next video, which I think is going to be before the end of the week. Uh, we, we're a sequester here a little bit. I'm going to come and chat with you guys about that tomorrow. So stick around for that. Mwah! Hit the subscribe button.